Yesterday morning, I found evidence of some kind of a creature living inside of my barn. One, two, three. Little rats and mice could fit all in between. The trap is going to snap shut. It's going to catch that rat. I'm gonna put one right here on the floor, right here, and then one over in this back corner. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Yesterday morning, I found evidence of some kind of a creature living inside of my barn in one of the closets. So of course, once I found that evidence, I knew there was only one thing left to do and that is set traps. So if you guys wanna know what kind of a creature was living in my closet, if we trapped them, if the traps worked, well guys, you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that. All right, here it is, the moment of truth. This is the closet in question. We're gonna open it up right now. One, two, three. Nothing, nothing at all. But let me turn this light on right here so you guys can really see what's going on. Where's this light? It's right here. Sing. I don't think it works very well. It might take a second. Oh, there we go. We got the light on. So this closet right here has been filled with this predator. I'm thinking it's a rat, and these rats are not good. So if you come down here, the reason why I'm thinking it's a rat, if you look here, there's all of these little pieces right here. All of this stuff right here is all evidence of rats. These look like tiny little rat droppings. I really don't want to drop them now. I don't think it's lizard droppings because lizards would have a little bit of white on the outside and that would be a urate. If you look up in this closet, there's all kinds of nooks and crannies, like little rat houses. Little rats and mice could fit all in between. Now this refrigerator here has nothing in it. It's just an empty refrigerator. But this is just not good. We definitely don't want these rats. And guys, there really could be, if it is indeed rats, there could be hundreds of them in here. If you look, oh my gosh, look right here. If Oh, they just fell. These are all disgusting rat droppings. If you look at this box right here, you can see that it's filled with all of these nasty, gross rat droppings. I mean, I can only imagine how many rats are in here to produce this much poop. Now... Again, I'm not sure where they're living because they could be living up inside of these crevices, but they could also be coming from outside of here. If you look right here, there's all of these crevices which open up to my barn rafters. Up in the rafters could be a total habitat for rats. We've caught all kinds of creatures in here. A lot of times there's actually nests. Yep, there's a nest right there right now. If you see these sticks, looks like there's some kind of a bird's nest up inside of my rafters right now. Guys, this is insane. I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing here. I'm gonna pull this brick right now. Maybe the, a rat could be living behind it. Let's pull it one, two, three. Nothing at all, but look, there's rat poop back there. I'm already seeing a couple rat droppings, which means there could be a rat back there. Let's kind of slide this back in. The reason why these rats is such a big concern is because of my animals. Number one, rats spread disease. And if you have animals, there's rats. No matter where you go, rats are gonna be there. But when you have animals, that attracts the rats even more. I have all four of my baby tortoise boxes covered with this wire for one of three reasons. Raccoons, rats, and hawks. Hawks will swoop down and try and snatch up these baby turtles. The rats will actually chew their legs. And guys, I'm gonna pop this video on the screen right here. This is an old one. If you guys remember this video right here, a rat was in my garage and literally chewed my radiated tortoise's legs down to the bone. I learned my lesson once with that. Always keep your baby tortoises covered. The radiated tortoises are alive and well and doing fine, but we do not want a repeat of this happening. I am not entirely sure how many of these pests we are dealing with. Again, I'm pretty sure they're rats, they could be mice, but the last thing we wanna do is set poison. If we set poison, these poison rats can make their way into other animals' enclosures. If the cats eat it, the cats could get poisoned. Poison is not an option here today. So because we can't use this poison, we can only do one of two things. Either set these live animal traps or set these rat traps. So guys, I think we're gonna do both. So let's go get these traps and let's get these rats. One minute, 37 seconds later. We've got our traps and we are going to get ready to set these traps. Now, if you guys have never seen my trapping videos, well, I've obviously gotta give you guys a demonstration of how these traps work. So we got three different traps here. We got this live animal trap so we can catch the rats live. These traps are not so forgiving. These are definitely not live animal traps. These are these big alligator traps. These are actually one of my favorite traps. And we also have this classic rat trap right here that you set back like that. So to get started, I'm gonna show you my favorite trap first, which is the alligator teeth trap. So basically they sell these at Home Depot. All you do is you just 
They're super easy to load. So you would load your bait in right here. And today we're gonna be using monkey biscuits because that's the rat's favorite snacks. And all you do is you just click this on back just like that and the trap is set. So this trap right here, if I were to touch it right now, it would definitely break my finger. So in theory, what's gonna happen, the rat is gonna smell this bait. The rat's gonna crawl and make its way right on over. And if the rat comes and puts just the slightest bit of pressure on the trap, well, the trap is going to snap shut. It's going to catch that rat. This is one of my favorite traps. Now we also have this one, same method. You just kind of set it on back like that. The rat's gonna come, try to get its food, snap shut, and it just broke the stick. So guys, we are set to catch these rats. And if you guys don't know how these mini traps work, well guys, I've got a bunch of different trapping videos. Check them out on after. So now it is time to bait our traps. And today's bait is a delicious monkey biscuit. I like them, rats like it, the monkeys like them. So guys, let's get this trap on set. So basically, like I said, we're gonna take little chunks like this and we're just gonna put them in here. Now the key to this is to kind of press it in so it's nice and firmly in there so the rat can't just grab it and run. The rat's gonna have to sit there and really kind of work hard to get this food on out. And that's how we're gonna hopefully catch some of these guys. So we're gonna set this right here. We've got a little bit more right here, just like that. Now we just wanna shake this on off. We got that and we have our last trap right here. So we're just gonna set this on up just like this. And our final chunk, we're just gonna reach all the way in the back and I'm gonna set it right here. So the animal's gonna crawl in, it's gonna step on this door. Once it steps on the door, it's gonna trigger the trap. It's gonna snap shut. Guys, you've seen how my traps work. So now it is time to go set these traps and hopefully catch these predators. All right, it's time to open up our little room right here. So again, we've seen the evidence of this rat. There's poop in here. There's definitely rats, whether they're living in here or coming in here. I'm not sure, but we're gonna set these traps right now. So to start, we're gonna do my favorite traps, which is these crazy alligator traps right here. Guys, if you use these traps, definitely be careful. So I'm gonna put one right here on the floor, right here, and then one over in this back corner. Now I've also got this trap right here, and we're gonna set this one too. These are way better than the regular wooden ones, because the wooden ones, you can easily hurt your fingers. These, they just are spring-loaded. They're ready to go. I think I'm gonna put this trap right here up high since I suspect the rats are living in there. And now it is time to set this other trap. Now, I've looked in all the other rooms in the barn and this is the only room that's showing evidence of these rats. So I'm gonna set this trap just like this. Now this is gonna be very tedious. It's gonna be very hard to do, but if you guys come in here and take a look, I think I've got it set. Wait, I think I've got it. Oh, just like that, guys. The trap set now. I don't know if I should, I, you know what? I don't even think I should touch it. I don't think I should move it. So now that our traps are set, the only thing left to do is close this door on up. We've gotta wait till the morning because it's gonna probably be overnight. The rats at nighttime, that's when they become the most active. So we're gonna be back here in the morning and we have one more rat trap and I have the perfect place to put it. So the last trap is actually going to go by my favorite monkey boy, Theo Jr. Theo Jr, you're here, we are here to trap the rats. We're here to get the rats. I know you want the trap, but it's really dirty. You can't have it. So basically, we're gonna load this trap on up just like this, and I'm gonna be putting it inside of this rain gutter right here. This rain gutter in the past, we've actually trapped rats in here before. I already have a trap set right over here, but I'm not sure. Yep, there's nothing in it. There's no nothing inside of the trap. Nothing's got it. So we're gonna put this fresh trap with fresh bait right here in this rain gutter and maybe we'll catch some rats, guys, but I haven't seen any here in a while. So now that all of our traps are set, it is time for the waiting game. We've gotta wait till the morning to see what we catch, guys. So right now, comment down below. Are we gonna catch some rats? The next morning. All right, so the first trap we're going to see is if we caught something near Theo Jr. Theo Jr., what do you think? Did we catch anything? Did we catch anything? And that is a negative. It doesn't look like the trap was actually touched at all, which is a good sign, meaning there's no rats here. Theo, there's no rats. That's very good. We don't want them here. They're really bad, okay? All right, so let's go. So now that we checked behind Theo Jr.'s enclosure, well, now it's time to go inside and check the closet. So now the moment of truth, the moment all of you have been waiting for. Did we catch some rats? I think we set like five traps and then we're bound to have something. So I'm gonna open this door up right now in three, two, one. Success! <laughs> Success, baby. I don't know how the lighting is in here right now, but let me turn this thing on. So, first of all, this trap right here, nothing at all, nothing in it. This trap right here, look at that. The bait has been taken. We had some sneaky rats. He could have climbed on the side. Whatever went in this trap knew what was up. He took the bait, but he did not get trapped in the trap. And now, guys, we didn't get just one rat. 
but we got two. So right over here, we got these rats right here in the traps. Two big rats inside of the trap. This is absolutely insane. I can't believe we caught these rats. And these are the pest rats. These are the rats that could be spreading diseases around my property. So guys, I'm so glad we were able to catch these rats. I really do not like doing this, but it is necessary for my health, the health of my animals. We don't want to spread bacteria. We don't want to spread disease. So I'm glad we were able to take care of the problem. We're going to set these traps back again tonight. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's rat trapping. I'm actually mind blown that we caught two rats. I was expecting maybe one one, but two rats is definitely a success. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna see more of these trapping videos. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more of the crazy stuff that goes on at my jungle. Well guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.